Bears are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Stars take possession here on the opening draw. And we are underway. Directed over to Bedard. He carries the puck up along the wing. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Robinson's gonna go off for a pair for charging here. The Blackhawks will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, this top-rated power play unit gets their first opportunity to bite in this one. And man, is this ever fun to watch. And that's knocked away by Hintz. Dallas has the puck. Trying to dump it out. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Scores! And they've gone ahead and it comes short-handed. Well, and that's just a dagger, isn't it, James? Being aggressive, anticipating an active stick, and getting on your horse and creating opportunity when you're on the PK. We gotta give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. Dallas has to be feeling good about this start, Cheryl. Yeah, there's a few things here, James. First, the timing, you know, you're getting on the board to start the game and really sending a clear message to your opponent. And two, you're getting the first goal of the game, which means you're playing in front. You always want to play in front because your team typically plays for you. Takes the feed at the point. Sends it in front. Connect the play. Scores! And they convert on the power play. Well, they drew the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James. And then the same approach came on the power play where they knew how to out it and retrieve it. And guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. Well, this power play will show up in the video room tomorrow. There's no question about that because it had it all. Puck movement, motion, and urgency on retrieval, which I think is absolutely critical. Yes, got to start with the puck if you want to find a way to get the shot to the net. And it winds up in the back of it. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Puts it on net, and he keeps that one out. The Stars gain control of the puck. Moves it to Hackenpah. Dallas looks to break out in their own end. Poked away in the neutral zone by Beauvillier. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Across the line along the left wall. Loves the puck. Oh, he stopped it. What a seed on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. The Stars haven't had a lot to smile about halfway through this season, James, and got a losing record. They really haven't found any rhythm at all. But they got to evaluate and hit the reset button. They've got some runway left to get back in this thing, but it needs to start now. Ottinger's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Lindell's been working so hard with the puck and without it, it's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points, you want to feel like you're contributing. Johnson's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Marchman. Great stop by Ottinger. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Jones plays it now. Slick feed. Here's a chance. And he was ready for that save. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Olsen's known for leading by example, guys. His board leader's own ability sees him give the team a boost every time he scores. Robertson's dangerous when he shoots pucks that are flat and settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability is that accuracy from having full control of the puck. I'm expecting one of these two players to give their team the edge tonight, guys. Back to you. With possession along the wall. Picked off by Hintz. Quick pass to Duchesne. Chicago's got the puck. The Blackhawks take it along the wing. That's intercepted. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Centering feed. What a chance, but they can't connect. 
Nice zone entry from the left. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Heiskanen's crossed the line and gained the zone. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. And they keep the pressure on. Yeah, it's good! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, these are the types of goals that are extremely deflating because they are just egregious in nature and really change the landscape of a game. I mean, the goaltender's scrambling and had no chance on that one. Dallas has to be feeling good about their game here to start this one as they lead by a goal in period number one. It's been a tight game, James. I feel like they've competed for every inch of the ice. They were rewarded with that go-ahead goal, and now it's about not only keeping that lead, but extending it. Slides the puck across to Dodano. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Moves it over to Vlasic. The Blackhawks are on the attack and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Here's a short pass to Dickinson. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. And now he moves it to Dodanov. Rocked him in the open ice. The Blackhawks gain possession. Gains the zone through center. Taken by Beauvillier. And that one's turned away. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. In the final moments of this period, Dallas leads by one. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Fires it into the offensive zone. Angles it over to Blackwell. From the left side, they gain the zone. The Stars have it now. Quick feed to Steele. Sent into the offensive zone. And it's kicked away. Scooped up along the wall by Felino. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Gets the puck in deep. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Dallas gets the puck near the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Take the shot. Takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Ottinger is the only reason that his team is in this game, James. I mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. James, I'd imagine they're coming back with that overload setup they had success on earlier. I mean, you're working off one side of the ice. You're overloading that side. You can cycle off of it, but really you want to draw the coverage outside the dot, and then you got to move the puck quickly to get your lane to the net. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Grabbed along the boards by Jones. Sends it across the ice. Chicago's got it across the line. Reaches out and uses the stick. Chicago's got possession here in the offensive zone. And he makes the save on that play. Takes a shot. Oh, and another quick stop. Ottinger's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. 
Chicago's won the draw inside the off. Yeah. Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. One of the toughest things to do is get in and get entry. And when you already have a face-off in the offensive zone, you got to find a way to execute on the power play. You know, it's one of the most difficult things to do, but when you win possession, you can get the setup. You can get the look that you want, and that's what happened here. Chicago's been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Moves it to Olsen. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Dallas has possession of the puck. Gets it over to Lindell. Slides it diagonally to Sagan. Knocked away by Bedard. And he coughs it up with the pass. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. And they take possession off the trot here at their own end. Tries to the crease. Denies him. Classics return to the lineup certainly gives his team some added boost in offense as he gets a dangerous shot right off the hop. Murphy's lugging the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Tanev. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Quick pass to Ben. The Stars have it behind the cage. Receives the pass. And that's blocked. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Dallas takes possession along the wall. Steele's going to play the puck behind the cage. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Mrazek. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Dallas goes to work in the offensive zone. Oh, wow, what a pass saved by Mrazek. Here's a short pass to Dickinson. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Through center. The Stars get a hold of the puck in their own end. Poked away by Beauvillier. Takes a shot. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Chicago's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Johnson's won the draw at center. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kurashev. Here they are on the attack. Great reach with the poke check by Beauvillier. Looks to pass it to Kurashev. Here's a shot! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. The Blackhawks have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That knocks him off the puck. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. 
Well, the rest have seen enough in this one now, and they're going to get offsetting penalties or coincidentals. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Quick feed to Hall, and that's deflected. The Blackhawks carry it on the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Ottinger's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. Didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Chicago's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Jones. Here's a shot. Misses wide of the net. Oh, that was like a bomb exploding against the boards. Dumps it into the O-zone. Slides it across to Athanasiu. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Takes the puck at the point. Good use of the body on the play. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, fantastic save by Ottinger. Moves it quickly over to Athanasiu. Stopped by the goaltender. Here in the late goings of the period, Chicago's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Picked up along the boards by Donato. Sends it in front. Takes the pass. Scores! And they beat the buzzer at 10 point right here in the period. They always say, James, that to start a period and to finish periods are critical times, and they get one here. They go to the dressing room with a lot of momentum. The Blackhawks deliver an absolute backbreaker with that goal here late in the second. Well, it certainly adds a buffer to that one goal lead, doesn't it? And it certainly changes the mind frame. What it can't change is the way that they're playing. They got to keep the foot on the gas here and get themselves to the intermission. And he takes the pass. Fires it on net. Here he is on the backhand. There's the horn. 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendars. They're available in section 144. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Chicago's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, their opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And he denied him there. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And that's intercepted by Olsen. Feeds the puck to Jones. And he takes the feed. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Shot! And that goes off of body. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Feeds the puck over to Tanev. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Blackhawks lead it 4-2. Quick 
Quick pass to Dickinson. Snagged with the glove by Ottinger. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Chicago's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Sagan's won the draw here in their own zone. And now he passes up to Ben. Quick shot! What a chance, but it goes up and over the net. Well, it isn't easy to create good quality scoring chances in the game today, James. So when you get them, you got to make good on them. I understand he was going high, a little too fine, and he misses the net. And loses possession after a solid hit. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Denies him with the pad. Oh, the officials are all over that trip. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession with a penalty box for the home team. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's a short pass to Dickinson. The Stars will play from the defensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Zaitsev. Quick feed to Dickinson. Fires it! Makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Kurashev. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. What are they coming up here? Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Get them while you can. Sagan's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Chicago's got the win off that draw. He was left in there. Pass back to the point. Dallas will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Hall. to Ben. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Taken along the wall by Bedard. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Although they're still trailing, this game is now within reach with that effective kill that gives life to the entire bench. Big stop! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Chicago's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. Johnson's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Scores! Miro Heiskinen, one of the best defensemen in the game, and he buries it. This is just 
exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. The Stars dial up exactly what they needed. A goal here in the third. A lot of pushback right now at the latter half of the third period. And you know that the coach is going to make some adjustments. You want to have the opportunity to get your star gifted, creative, offensive players out there when you need to get an equalizer. Musa quickly over to Johnston. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Chicago's gained the line and into the zone. Denies him in front. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. And that pass is redirected. Oh, and a miss fires. That goes right out of the zone. Shot! Pass saved by Brasic. And that shot dies in traffic. Brasic's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. A lot of people were excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carla Bade standing by with her answer. Olsen's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Tries to feed it over to Kuroshev. Dallas gains a hold of it. With the steal. And now it's grabbed by Duchesne. Chicago's got the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Dickinson. The Stars take possession in the defensive end. Slides the puck ahead to Duchesne. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. That's intercepted. Dallas moves ahead with the puck. Ottinger's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under siege, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Just here in the late stages of this frame, this one has been a good back and forth contest. We're sitting with a 4 3 hockey game. And the puck makes off the glove. Slides it up to Faxa. Tries to get the puck to Lindell. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Critical time of the game, late in the third period. I used to love this as a peak air. You have one goal lead, and it's your job to protect it. Huge face off here as they step out with the power play unit. Under a minute to go in the third. Blackhawks have it against the wall. And they clear that puck. The Stars really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. They score! Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal. James, a real insurance marker and a game well fought and a win well earned. Well, timing is everything, and this guy knows that he needs to be an emotional barometer for this team, and that goal sends a jolt right through the entire bench. You can see them all up on their feet. They got some newfound energy now. The Blackhawks maintain that persistence like they have all night long. They add the empty netter, and I think that's fair to say this is, this is over, right, Sheriff? Sure. Oh, it's over, James. No question about it. And you can see the elation on all the faces and on the bench. They know it's an empty net goal. Well, this is the risk you take when you pull your goaltender for the extra attacker, James, and they get burned on it. Spoken like a true stay-at-home defender there, Pounder. It's always amazing to watch the bench when the leader of the group scores, James, because there's an energy, there's a, a fun-like atmosphere that is contagious, and you can certainly feel that he brings it to this group each and every time. Olsen's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Puck back by Zaitsev. The Stars have it from their own end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Moves it over to Sagan. Quick pass to Hill. Taken down, and the officials caught it. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I'm surprised that the officials didn't put their whistles away in the dying seconds of this game, James. I mean, look at the scoreboard. It's been over for a while.
would have been drawn their own end. Pop clears the zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. Well, Cheryl, there's a reason why we pay you the big bucks. How do you interpret what went down tonight? I mean, the empty net goals is certainly a hot button topic here. You take your goaltender out in desperation. You want to find a way to win the game. And once that first one goes in, I've been on the other side of it as a defender. And let me tell you, it ain't fun when you got one, two multiple goals going in. Well, that'll bring it in to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.